Hey, watch lovers, Brad from Brent Miller Jewelers. And today's question is burgundy or blue? And I guess we can call this red. You could call this almost a blue purple as well. But in my hands here, I have the SLA 059 on my left and the SLA 053 on my right. Obviously, both Seikos, both 300 meter professional dive watches. And really, I'm just curious which color is preferred because I like them both. I really do. And I think part of it comes down to is do you want your dive watch on a bracelet or are you okay with a very comfortable, soft Seiko rubber strap? So, again, you got the black case on uh, the 053 here. I have reviewed these both. Again, I'll put the link in the description uh, on watches that I've uh, already reviewed. If you want to know case dimensions, uh, everything of that nature is in those reviews, is in that um, description of those reviews. So I will list those in the description if you want to know how thick these are, how you know what the lug the lug is, all that information is out there. Today's video is really just aesthetically. Do you like the blue purple? And I mean, it is blue, but I just, I get shades of purple in here at times. Or do you like this red burgundy? And if you're fans of our channel, uh, if you know if you are customers of Brent Miller, you know we are huge fans of Bruce Williams' channel. Uh, he was recently out here uh, in uh, May. I know this was a fan, a, a favorite of his. He uh, has recently posted it on his channel. If you haven't seen it, please go check it out. He did a great review. Talked about this model. I thought Bruce was going to take this home with him. I really did. Uh, I, I thought this was the one he was going to wear, and, and he still might eventually. But I don't know. I actually like the rubber strap. For my six and three quarter inch wrist, I prefer the comfort of the rubber strap. Not that I don't like the red, but I'm going with the 053 here, my friends. Uh, I think this would be the one I'm gonna take home with me. Um, I'll give you a quick just look of the entire. You can see these are limited editions, 500 total units. Bezel action. Wonderfully smooth. Love the texture on both dials. I also love that the date window here is not a, what I'll call like a stark bright white. Um, it almost has like a silver to it that really doesn't, it doesn't stick out as like a sore thumb on some white date windows. I think Seiko did a nice job on that. Special edition. Case back. Obviously, you have the ratcheting micro here as well. So, is it going to be red or blue for you? I will throw both of these on wrist very quickly and I'll give you a quick loom shot as well. I do like the red, but the black to me just looks smaller, wears a little smaller. The strap's obviously more comfortable, fits my wrist well. I actually really think I could wear this watch. Um, again, I have a preference towards smaller watches, but man, putting this on, I have not had this on in a while. I, 
I don't think I'd have an issue wearing it. I really don't. Um, again, the red on a strap too, I think would be fantastic. And if you're not familiar, both of these come with cufflinks that match the dial on these. So um, just an extra, extra little gift from Seiko. I don't know that you'd be wearing the cufflinks with these watches, but regardless, um, something nice to have nonetheless. So give me a quick loom shot. As always, greatly appreciate you watching. Let me know what dial you like. Both glow like a torch. Thanks again. See you guys in the next video.